always got to go to the bathroom because, you know, you never know how long you're going to be there. You don't want to be thinking about that when you're trying to be in the moment. Hi, I'm Josh Hutcherson, and these are my candlelight confessions. Biggest lie you ever told your parents when you were growing up? That I never snuck out of the house. And I did a lot, a lot. It's a lot of sneaking around. I got caught badly, <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been fired from a job? Thankfully, I've never been fired from a job. I mean, the only job I've ever had is acting. So if I was fired from an acting job, that would be a really, really bad thing. I'd be in a lot of trouble. I, would, I probably wouldn't have been in the Hunger Games. Yeah. <laughs> last movie you cried at? Last movie I cried at was probably the last Star Wars. <laughs> I just find them very moving. Really was there a me. particular scene that really got you? If the last Star Wars I saw was the one, spoiler alert, where uh, Kylo Ren kills Harrison Ford. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was, that got me. What show would people be surprised you watch? Like, are you like a Real Housewives fanatic? Probably my favorite show ever made is Girls. Really? I think it's, it's fantastic. And now I'm hooked on I May Destroy You. Uh, it's so good. Um, I, girls, I've, I've watched the whole thing probably two, maybe three times now. It's, it's, it's great. If you could trade bodies with a celebrity, who would it be and what would you do? With Woody. If I could trade, I mean, first of all, I don't know how old he is. He might be like 80, but he's like, has the body and like fitness of a 30 year old. Um, and I would just enjoy my life to the fullest because that man is healthy. He lives in Hawaii. He's got it. He's got it made. Do you have any tattoos or scars? I got tattoos, I got tattoos kind of all over. And then I've got like, like a knuckle scar there. You can kind of see. That was, uh, I was like seven or six. And uh, I was like, you know, a crazy kid. And I had like a knife and I was trying to cut apart an action figure. And like my hand just like slipped and I almost cut my finger off. Didn't, but now I have this weird scar situation. Do you have any tattoos that you regret? I had one and I covered it up with a massive black rectangle. And that's it. Can you say what it was you covered up? <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's just too stupid. What song do you secretly love to rock out to? Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You. It's a great song. I sing it alone. Nobody can be around when I sing it. You could relive one night or one year of your life. What would it be? I would relive the final year that we shot The Hunger Games. It was, it was, it was the greatest experience. And I know I enjoyed it at the time, but if I could go and relive it again with knowing how amazing it was now, I would, I would do that. We were in Berlin and uh, it was during the World Cup and we went, we rent, rented bicycles and went to the Tiergarten Park in Berlin and they had like a big outdoor projector set up and we watched Poland play the US maybe. And it was just like steins of beer, pretzels outside, beautiful weather. It was, it was glorious. Do you have a good luck charm? I recently found a rock that I really like the shape and feel of. <laughs> so I'm gonna hang on to that for a while and see what happens. Uh, nice. it's good or bad luck or just means nothing, we'll see. <laughs> Best and worst thing about being a celebrity? Best thing is that uh, if you are a celebrity, so to speak, that means that you're doing something that people are drawn to one way or another. And that's cool, because that's interesting. That means you get to do something that people are interested in. Uh, worst thing is that people are drawn to you. And so you have to like, you sometimes want to just crawl and, and hide away and, and change your face into someone else. Do you have any pre-performance ritual? So like something that you do before you get on set? Uh, I always go pee. <laughs> always got to go to the bathroom because you know, you never know how long you're going to be there. You don't want to be thinking about that when you're trying to be in the moment. But that's my, that's my very method. Very, uh, you know, it's very important method that I follow.